Hi, today I'm going to show you how to perform routing in LangChain. Routing means based on the input of a user, you do A or you do B. You can route to use different templates, different vector stores or both, whatever you want. I will show you two approaches, routing by semantic similarity and routing via LLM based classifier. Okay, I'm currently in VS Code and as you can see on the left, we've got multiple files, but the only relevant file for this video is the routing IPython notebook. Everything else is for an advanced follow-up video. So first, we're gonna start with the semantic similarity routing. So we've got three templates, a car template, a restaurant template, and a technology template. So if the question of a user is related to cars, we want to use this template. If the question is about a restaurant, we want to use this template. So this is what we're gonna achieve with routing. So let's first set up our templates. And the next step, is to set up some examples. So these are example questions. So what is the difference between a sedan and a SUV? How does a hybrid car say fuel and so on? So these are all car related questions. Then we've got restaurant related questions and we've got technology related questions. We store these as examples, each in a list. And now we want to create semantic embeddings of these questions. So we create an instance of the OpenAI embeddings class and we use the embed documents function to pass in that list of strings for each of the lists. And these are the embeddings which we create. I'm gonna show you an example how that looks like. So let's print this. So this is just a list of vectors and we've got three of these different vectors, list of vectors. The next step is to calculate the semantic similarity of an input against the vector list we've got here. So I created a little helper function called prompt router, where we pass in an input. And what we're gonna do is we gonna embed the query and now we're gonna calculate the cosine similarity of the embedding against all of the vectors which we've got here. The next step is to calculate the highest similarity score of each of the vectors. And then we've got three scores left and again, we calculate the maximum value. So we've got the global maximum similarity score of each of the vectors. Then we check if we got this value from the car similarity vector list. Then we wanna use the car template. If we've got that from the restaurant similarity vector list, then we want to use the restaurant template and so on. So this is how we perform the routing. And after that, we pass in the query. So the query is what's the best way to improve my car's battery life. So this should now print using car, since this is car related. If we change it to what can I eat today? Can I eat today? Then it should be restaurant related. Yes. So you can see this works. And now we can use this logic to create a chain. So this is a very simple chain with the lang chain expression language. So we've got our input query which is a runnable pass through. That means we won't change that input. We won't pass it to a retriever or so. Just pass it to this function. And if we use an arbitrary function, we have to use this runnable lambda function. So we pass it unchanged to the router and pass the output, which is the prompt, pass that to chat open AI. This makes the request to the LLM and the output will be passed to the output parser. So that's our chain. And if we invoke the chain with, um, with how do I identify a good vintage wine at the restaurant, this should now use the restaurant template. As you can see, this works again. And now we get our final answer from OpenAI. So this is the correct answer. It uses our template. And yeah, that's it. This is how we can do semantic routing with semantic similarity. Now there is another way to do classification. For classification, we don't need examples. We will just use the LLM to classify that. So we've got one single template we, um, which contains a question. And here we've got three examples. So if the question is about car mechanics, models, or automotive technology, classified as car, then we've got some examples here for restaurant and some examples for technology. And this can be used the same way as before. So we've got this simple template and we create a very simple and e even easier chain than before. We don't need a runnable lambda or so. We just pass in that template to chat OpenAI and pass that to the output parser. So a very simple chain. And now 
we can use that again to create a custom router function. So this will create our classification as a result. And now we can check if the classification equals car, then we're gonna use the car template. If it's restaurant, then we will use the restaurant template. If it's technology, then we will use the technology template. We can even set an else case where we will print unexpected classification and return nothing from that. So very similar like before, but this time with another LLM call. And here we run our query. So the input is what are the latest trends in electric cars? And as you can see, it's correctly classified. And again, we can create our, our final chain. And here we're gonna use the runnable Lambda again, where we're gonna pass in the prompt router, which makes the LLM call. So this is now our final chain. And again, we use the invoke method, how to identify a good vintage wine at the restaurant. So again, same question like before, it uses the restaurant. So it was classified correct. And we get our final answer. Okay, we can clearly see that both approaches work. So when to use which approach? Semantic similarity is cheaper and faster. So if you experience that both perform at an equal level, then use semantic similarity. But my personal experience is that the LLM based classifier is a bit more accurate, but of course you can make your own experience. In the next video, we will perform routing to query different data sources. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye-bye.